Aries, this is your 2018 overview. <clears throat> Let's see what spirit has for you. So for your overall energy of 2018, you actually had the Knight of Swords in reverse. I'm reading reverses right now. And let's see what I get from this. I'm hearing you're going to pay more attention to the way that you immediately react to things. And it's really hard for you because this is your first reaction. This is what you want to do. And you're noticing that the outcomes are not coming out the way that you want them to. So that's why you're working on them. It's like you're changing the way that you're thinking about things. But these things are being brought to your attention now. So it's like something you already should have been doing. But now it's being brought to your attention. So that's where you are for 2018. What you're leaving in 2017 is conflict. <clears throat> People that have differences, difference of opinion than yours. And not to sound like that exactly. But this is more about people who rebel against your growth or where you're going i feel like you're trying to grow and build foundations and there are still people in your life or situations in your life that are not as supportive as they should be to you okay and this is you getting rid of those things because it's not helping you what's the point of it being there what's the point of you playing this game okay i'm actually feeling like You've chose to ignore these things for a while, okay? But at the end of 2017, you're in this energy of, well, it's time for me to pay attention to these. I can't keep going on like this. This is another year of this, okay? Now, you're going into 2018 with the King of Wands. This is definitely your card, okay? So this is about you being the leader that you are. You really don't need anyone. If you notice in this image, there's no one there with him. He's by himself sitting on his throne, okay? And this is where you'll be. Focusing on yourself, your needs. What are your passions, your drive? What is it that you want in your life? What do you want to see? And that's what you'll be bringing in because you're getting <clears throat> stronger in yourself. And you're having a vision about what it is that you want for your own life. You have the Ten of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> and all of this energy in 2018 is giving you this opportunity, okay? This opportunity for you to make moves in your life or make changes in areas that you were afraid to because of what other people thought or what you thought. But now that you have that confidence right here with this king of wands or you have that in you you can now make those moves or put an end to those things that don't serve you and you'll have plenty of opportunities to do that it will be presented to you and then you'll have to end them okay it's really like it's your choice to do that or not but because you'll have a certain direction most likely you will get rid of those things your obstacles in 2018 are standing up for those things that you believe in being able to <clears throat> being able to push away those people that you always wanted their approval or opinion or love or care or acceptance you have to remember this person is holding a wand and what is a wand it's about opportunities okay opportunities for new growth new strength, new passion in your life. And you're going to have to push other people away that don't support that. And it's going to be very hard to you, which is why it comes up as an obstacle. Okay. How to deal with their obstacles. You have the nine of wands. And what does this talk about? Standing up for what you believe in, keeping yourself protected and knowing that there is more to be done. 
This is the nine card and the nine comes about completion. Completion is hard. If you look at her, she's not smiling. She is struggling, okay? She is trying to make these things happen for her. Okay, she has that wand in her hand and she's not going to let anybody take that from her. She's protecting herself and she knows that there is more to be done. And that's how you deal with this. Knowing where your direction is and continuing to, to follow that. So how to achieve all of your goals and dreams? In 2018, you have the Three of Cups in Reverse. This talks about sometimes when you're on your path, everyone might not be accepted of it, accepting of it, okay? This is a card of being by yourself. This is a card of maybe a three-party relationship. If you're in a relationship and someone isn't happy with what you're doing, it this is likely um, a likely card that they may cheat on you to find that acceptance in another place, okay? But the, it, you also have to remember you are on your own here, especially with the King of Wands. You're doing things on your own. You're changing your perspective. You are um, being courageous within yourself, but evaluating the risk taking that you have done in the past. January, February, and March, you have the Six of Wands in reverse. Like I said, this the first three months, not everyone is going to be happy with what you're doing with your life. OK, you're going to feel like a failure or a loser because you love having these people around you. You love these people. You care about them. But you also know that there is something that you must do and you're standing strong in that. April, May and June, you have the Queen of Cups. This may be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. I will not X that out. But this talks about you being more emotionally secure in yourself. Okay, being intuitive within yourself, being compassionate of others, knowing that it's not their fault that they're stuck in the way that they were stuck in because you were once stuck there too. So that's something that you need to remember going through those months. Okay, July, August, September, you have the Five of Swords and this is you battling your feelings. I feel like people are going to come in and out. OK, and to test your theory or to test, are you still doing that? Are you still feeling that way? That type of thing. Um, this is also new people coming into your life to test this theory or to test this lesson that you're on for the year. OK, so so it's about defending yourself there. October, November, December. There you are. The six of swords. OK, and that's you moving on. This was a rough time. I feel like this is a rough year. This is a year of lessons. Not that you want to hear that, but I feel like you're finally moving forward. I feel like things are opening up to you because you're starting to see better situations come. Okay. People coming into your life that will assist you with your journey. Things like that. Okay. People that are being more supportive of you and not pushing you away. Okay, so I'm going to end that there. If you would like the extended reading version of this reading, please become a member. That link is in the description box below. If you would like a private reading, I will be more than happy to do that for you as well. So thank you so much for listening. I love you very much. Love and light.